I am that nursing prep and welcome to my channel. In today's video, I'm going to be demonstrating how to put on a patch. So let's get into it. So the first thing we need to do is check our MAR, our medication administration record, because even though it's in a patch form, it still is a medication, so we still have to treat it just like everything else. So we're checking it, everything is good. That's our first check. Then we actually get the med and do our second check. We compare everything, make sure it all matches up. Checking for the expiration date on our patch, making sure it's not expired and everything is good to go. Now we're ready to actually go into the room. Now we're in the room. We've provided privacy. We've done hand hygiene. We've put on gloves. You want to make sure that you're wearing gloves when you're putting on a patch because you don't want to accidentally touch any of the medicine to your skin. And we're going to verify our patient with two identifiers, name and date of birth, and we're going to assess for allergies. So we've got the right patient, there's no allergies, we're good to give the patch. So actually the first thing we do before we would give them a patch is check their body for a previous patch, right? See if there's already another one on there, because we want to remove that one before we put on a new one. So let's say, for example, we have a patch here on our right side. What are we going to do? We're going to remove this patch and then we're going to put the new patch on the left side. Okay, so you want to mix up the locations because you don't want there to be skin breakdown. And you also, when you document this, you need to document where you put the new one and you also need to document that you removed the old one. Because again, if you didn't document it, it didn't happen. So it looks like the patient has multiple patches on. So we've removed the old one, everything looks good. We're ready to put on the new one. Just like any other medication, you want to explain what it's for before you give it to the patient. So we'll say, this is your nicotine patch. It's to help you to stop smoking. And he'll say, okay, great. And now we're ready to actually open it and give it. You want to assess the area, so assess the skin for any, any obvious signs of like breakdown or redness, swelling, anything like that. Also, hair. Some people are just really hairy and that's okay, that's just how their body is. But you need to be cautious with that because putting a patch on them might A, cause them pain, right, because it pulls at the hair and it might not be as effective in a hairy area. On some people, you might even have to shave them. So that's just an FYI to keep in mind. So we're ready to put the patch on. So we'll open it. And patches come in different varieties. Some of them are clear, and then some of them are more like a, a tannish color. So with the patch on here, and this one's pretty clear, right? You wouldn't really notice that. So it's important that you take a marker or a pen or something like that, and then you're going to date, time, and initial this patch, all right? That way we know where it's located and that we can remove it when it's time to get the new patch. And also, see how it kind of blends in? If you don't do that, you're gonna have a hard time finding it, right? So we need to be able to identify the location of this new patch. Do you have any questions about your nicotine patch? No? Okay, he understands, so we're all good. So that was my video on how to apply a medication patch. I hope you found this helpful. Don't forget to like and subscribe. If you have any questions or comments, please let me know. And if not, I'll see you on the next one.